the innovation effect is about getting different ideas and mm -hmm. having a better outcome as a result mm -hmm. of having those different ideas around the table. PATH is the type of organization that is able to put together a platform for people to collaborate on this issue of Africa innovation and health. It really is a, an idea that, you know, that I think probably anybody who's worked in innovation has experienced. That moment when uh, you know, collaboration happens in the best way, where public and private and social sector actors come together and work together to create actually quite a virtuous cycle that enables those problems to be addressed. We meet today to discuss Africa's health innovation agenda and how African-led strategies and partnerships can help accelerate the fight to end poverty, improve health and well-being, spur economic growth, and achieve shared prosperity across the African continent. No sensible decision can be made any longer without taking into account not only what the world as it is, but the world as it will be. Our time for action is now. I have seen firsthand the energy, the creativity, the entrepreneurship that has ushered in a new era of science-led development. We are here to recognize, to expand and accelerate transformational momentum in African innovation for health. There's so many people here, there's so much awesome talent here. I'm superbly impressed with the political leadership I've, I've seen here. It's not very often you find the politicians stand up and take position. Innovation in healthcare financing is the biggest barrier that we have to deal with and it's probably immediate. If you don't need to go to a bank to bank, you don't need to go to a shop to shop, maybe you don't need to go to a health worker to get health. When people talk about PPP, they keep telling us to add another P and that's the people. Innovation is not about centralized policies, it is about empowered communities using innovative solutions in order to transform locally. Traditionally, innovation has not been designed in ways that enable uh, the voice and the value of communities. For Africa, we like to say with Africa. And with Africa. Don't innovate for me, innovate with me. With me. Yes. Wonderful. The kind of conversation we're interested in is not how we can reach providers out there. It's about how we can become providers right here. Is Africa ready to move from donorship to ownership? <laughs> We've signed a very interesting partnership uh, with PATH, funded by the Gates Foundation, that will take us into the true innovative space. And this partnership is about developing a vaccine that does not yet exist. Mm -hmm against a disease called Group B strep, in short, GBS. Biovic is very fortunate and very proud to announce this partnership, but it's really taking us into the development space. In order that promotes the global health security, we must think differently. We need to find our own homegrown local solutions to prevent and treat diseases. Using the Nigerian example, we have hundreds of tribes, hundreds of languages, hundreds of beliefs, culture, tradition, customs. One of the main things that we attribute our success to is the fact that we have a deep connections with the customs of these people, trying to respect their customs and including some of the things that they believe in, in the kit, just to get them to use the kit and save more women at childbirth. It's not business as usual, it's business unusual. We really need to make sure that we develop disruptive ideas Africans are really the best people to innovate in Africa. We love risk, we love chaos, you know, that's exactly, <laughs> you know, what you find in Africa. These problems are not difficult to investigate, understand and fix. We just don't have the political will. I think the minister said that. Why would I look north, west, east or south for help to fix that? We only have 20 years to, to realize whether the African working population is an asset or liability. And everything we need to do now must be ensured to make sure it's an asset for us. A really key point when you think about where are multinational corporations choosing to invest when they go into their emerging countries is that they're looking to do it in partnership. But fundamentally what will drive us is that the idea that we can make a profit 
but at the same time have a purpose. And if we do that well and focus on what's driving us and aligning our incentives, we can make a difference. We have a choice about how we can invest. And if we invest into governance structures and capacity for the long term, where we do have to let go of our money for longer, we do have to let go of a little bit more control, we think we can go further. Health affects all of us. Sure. And so by making an investment uh, in the health sector, it actually is an investment not only in ourselves, yeah. but also in our economies, yeah. uh, in our companies, yeah. in our governments. I certainly think that the days of us talking amongst ourselves and yeah. not including the people, yeah. that being the civil society or any other, are over. I can't tell you enough how important it is to come to an audience like it is today, where it's such an extraordinary mix. It's just such an important conversation in the world today. And so I can't uh, thank you all enough for participating in it. I, I feel like we already are moving it beyond conversation to real action. When I look at the tools that we're working on or the programs that we're seeing big results on, but I think we have to keep pushing it more and more toward action. And I appreciate your, your thinking there.